right, well, it's 10.40, really? Mm -hmm. All right, it's 10.45, we're up here on Rodanthe Fishing Pier in Rodanthe, North Carolina. And it's pretty crowded today, there's some guys fishing here. It's gonna be more crowded than usual. And Colin's getting, mo getting his mom's fishing rod ready. Pull some of that line down and cut some of that end off. Because uh, cause the end of it's probably bad. Can I borrow your knife? Yeah. What? Give me a knife. Give me a knife. What? So cut the line. Knife? Oh look, he's got look, this guy's got another one here. Oh another one. We catch a couple of them, that'd be a good meal. We had one meal last night. Alright, we're gonna go check out while our uh while our bait defrosts here a little bit. While our bait defrosts here a little bit, we're gonna go check out the end of the new pier here. Right here's a couple new planks. So me and Colin are gonna walk up here and check out the pier. On this side. I think it got wiped out though. Yeah. Because we were up pretty high and it got Yeah, we were up a little bit but this is the new pier. They widened it out a little bit. Maybe we'll walk up here and try some fishing up here a little bit. Look, Colin, this guy's got one right here. Look, he's got a big one, huh, Colin? Ooh, gigantic, huh? <laughs> All right, Colin, let's go check out the end of the new pier. Check this out. They built this all last winter, Colin. They widened it out. Oh, there's, there's some spots out here, Colin. Yeah, yeah, we can come up here and stand up here. Oh, some open spaces. What's that? See, they have this whole end of the pier open. Yeah. See, well, they just built this. There's your buddy, Colin. They just built this pier this winter. So we'll check out the end here, and then we'll go down, and we should be able to fish. They're using baby pompanos. Oh, yeah? Like that sounds about right. I like this big. Alright, so we're on the end of the pier now. I want to fish here. Well, if it's not... Well, what's our bait? We could, um... I want to try the gotcha plug out here. Why don't we come up here? We can. Mom can sit right there, then. Alright, well, we're out on the end of the Rodanthe Pier here. And, um, these guys are, uh... Got some pin rigs out there. Why is that going? Why is that going? I don't know. So... This is the end of the pier. They widened it out a little bit. There's some space up here. Me and Colin might come up here and fish off of this side, stay out of these uh, experts' way. We are the experts. They stay out of our way then? Well, say the that again? We're the experts. Won't they stay out of our way? Yeah, you're about right, Colin. Yeah. Yeah, the great fishermen, Kelly yeah. and Colin. Let's see Colin. Big giant pompano. This is at least 30, 30. What do you need? About 300 of those to make a good meal? Eh, six. Wow. Oh, look at that. Colin's fishing Hooks big. Right into it. Fishing big on the Rodanthe Pier. Ouch. All right, can you get the hook out? And do your, can you get the hook out? It's All dead right. pretty fine. All right, release that okay, big Okay, here's my guy. All right, release that big, release that. Unless you want to keep them, catch 300 more for a good meal. Okay, ready? Yeah. Come here, buddy. He's swimming. And you missed him, buddy. No meal for you today. Uh, what's that? Look, a ray. Oh. Yeah, there's another ray. Right there's a ray. Can't pick him up on camera, but there's there's two of them two. there. Look, there's two of them. Two rays. Wow. You're lucky you weren't cast in there. You might have hooked into them. Yeah. All right, so, so far, out here at Rodanthe Pier, we caught two... Tiny fish. Three. No. Tiny three, fish. I oh yeah. Three I tiny pompano. And guess what? Guess what? You haven't caught zero. Oh, I caught zero. Make sure you remind everybody I caught zero. Caught zero, Dad. Uh huh. We saw some uh, some uh, small set, very small baby sailfish swim by. A school of uh, rays. Actually, two schools of rays. Wow. That was an amazing how-to video. How to bait a hook. That's how you bait my hook. I'm catching a lot of little pompano. Yeah, so far we've had no luck, but I'm hoping a little bit later in the day you guys will see some big fish. Not from Colin, but from me. No, from me. You caught zero fish. I yeah. caught baby pompano, me and mom. 
I remember coming up here when I was when I was his age and even smaller in the 80s, even the 70s, I used to fish up here with my grandfather. And they used to bring in huge sharks, big huge fish. I mean, they used to, I mean, they used to fight them for an hour and then just walk down the pier and drag them up on the beach. I mean, that was way back here. Check out some of these pictures from when I was up here in the 80s. I'll post them up here in a second. There you go. And, uh, like, I've been coming up here for, since, since the, since the late 70s, early 80s, and everywhere in between. But so far, we're not having any luck today. No. Oh, Can Colin caught some little pompano. So did Mom, and you caught yeah, zero. Yeah, but I caught zero. Yes, they remind me I caught zero. So, I'll give you another view of the new pier that they built on just this past winter after Hurricane Sandy took the end off. That's better. Yeah, I think this guy here caught a keeper. Just clean them and uh, eat, them. eat them for Thanksgiving. Now see, that's why you don't mess with that woman right there. Look at her good. All right, out there we got a fishing boat swinging around the pier. He's going wide, but hopefully he's having better luck than us. All right, this guy's got the right idea here. When the fish aren't biting, you get your Kindle out and you read a book. I didn't bring mine with, but he definitely has the right idea. Cast out and read The Old Man in the Sea on your Kindle. Before I throw the, before I release this fish, I want to do a, show you guys this. This is a remora. I just caught a remora. Yeah, they attach to a shark with that um, suction cup, and they eat the scraps that comes out of the shark's mouth. It's like a weird taste. And uh, he's called a remora. Anyways, I gotta get my fish there. Here. Pretty cool. I'm gonna release him, but yeah, let's flip him over so I can. Sh I feel like they're nothing but muscle. Yeah, you wanna see my catch? Bigger than that thing. Look at that. Where's he at? Bigger. Yeah. See, and that's what you call a remora. See, I kind of, these suctions. Oh, yeah, I see it. Can I, can I touch it and see what it feels like? That's weird. Ooh, ooh that's weird. Ah! <laughs> Hold this camera. That's so weird, it, like, bites down. You All right, guys, it. I want to show you something. This is a remora, like it's I was showing you so earlier. Weird. Now, watch this. It feels it. You can feel it bite. Oh, God. Kind of connects with little teeth. Yeah, you can feel it. See that? You got him in. I got you. Got your arm and him in the yeah. Well, there you go. That's Wait, that. Close there. This remora. That's actually the first remora I've ever caught. Go watch. They don't. I don't yeah. know if they bite or not. But oh, why don't you put them back? But you can feel the little teeth bite into your. Yeah, you can. Pretty <laughs> cool, huh? Oh, he's on there now. Oh. <laughs> All right, pretty cool. All right, we're gonna release him. How about that, guys? First remora I ever caught. I think I'll show you how he caught. I don't think he left a mark on my arm. No. It feels weird. But he probably uh, suctions a little bit harder when you're in the water. It suctions on there tight. So, uh, first remora. Pretty cool. Right off of Rodanthe Fishing Pier in Rodanthe, North Carolina. All right, so I'm sitting here fishing, watching this, and I'm wondering if where's she at? She fell asleep because she's out there floating all by herself in the sun. And who knows what's in this water? Maybe. Maybe we'll see another episode of Shark Week. But she's out there floating all by herself and I'm wondering if she fell asleep and she just lost track of where she is. So I just thought that was interesting to show you what can happen when you're not paying attention and where you can end up in the ocean, so always pay attention. Well, uh, we've been out here all day. We didn't have too much luck. We caught some uh, very small pompano. I hooked into Spanish mackerel, but I lost him when it got to the freaking 
here, so we didn't get him. So Kelly caught a spot, which is bigger than everybody else. So, of course, my wife catches the bigger fish. And uh, Colin today, he also caught, believe it or not, a seagull. He hooked into a seagull and wrapped around his leg, and he reeled it in. So technically, he caught the biggest fish. Or uh, so we're gonna we're gonna um, get some charcoal and grill him up tonight. It's gonna be delicious. So. Other than that, no fish, but uh, we did get that seagull for dinner. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I caught that remora. What? Caught that remora. That was pretty cool. Never caught one of them before. The suction was really cool. So follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, Instagram. It's all down below in that description box. And uh, of course, visit the Outer Banks. You'll never go anywhere else. Trust me. Have a good day. Okay, like I said earlier, we were fishing on the pier. I just wanted to mention one more thing on how sorry, on how friendly they are up at Rodanthe Pier. Like I said, I've been fishing there with my grandfather and my parents since since like 78, 79, 7, I don't know, 77 in the 80s, all the way up until now on the same pier. But today, Jim in the office there, he didn't have any sand fleas for sale left, so he let me use the rake for the sand flea rake for free to get out and get my own bait. That's how friendly these people are down here. So visit the Outer Banks, fish on Rodanthe Pier. All the other piers, I guess, are good, but I've always fished on Rodanthe Pier. Boss! Colin says it's boss, so Ouch. always fish. I, well, you got me messed up. So visit the Outer Banks. Hit Rodanthe Pier, they're the friendliest people. Check out their Facebook page. Check out their webcam. I'll put the web website down below for Rodanthe Pier in the, in the description box. And uh, that's it. Oh, he's going on YouTube.